<laughs> okay, this is about to be perhaps the craziest video I ever make, so just be ready for that. What's up gamers, Dreamcast guy here, and today we're going to be talking about the Microsoft Xbox. But not just the normal Xbox One, in fact, we're going to be talking about some newly discovered patents that basically show that it seems like these guys are interested in trying to rip off the Nintendo Switch. Now, in case you've been living under a rock, maybe you didn't know that in 2019, this is actually the highest selling console. Not only is it moving record-breaking numbers, but it's got the fastest growing fan base, and it's also got a bunch of exclusives that continue to top the charts. Stuff like Mario Maker 2 is just selling faster and faster and faster. In my opinion, this really comes down to the idea of having a console experience on the go is not something that anybody has really done great. I'm a big fan of the PlayStation Vita. I love mine. I've played it a bunch. But even then, those things still felt shrunk down. The Nintendo Switch is really the first system that managed to expand and explode the concept of playing hardcore games anytime, anywhere. And it seems like people like Sony and Microsoft have been trying to catch up to this concept. I mean, just a couple years ago, they discovered a bunch of paperwork where it seems as if PlayStation was actually trying to create a PS4 that could be played on the go. Now, this never developed. Something I think is very, very important is a lot of times these massive mega corporations will file the paperwork and get the patents for things they never fully finish. And in the case of the PS4 Go, or whatever you want to call it, that did not get released. It was shown, it was sort of tinkered with, and it seems like they decided to abandon it. But with this, it sounds like they're very, very far along. Now, let me just put this up on the screen. This is actually the newly discovered patents. This is paperwork that was filed exactly one month ago today that people have recently found. And to me, it's very, very fascinating because it appears to show a cell phone that has Xbox parts put onto it. Apparently, the general concept is to try and get what are apparently Joy-Cons and connect them to a mobile device to play console experiences in a cheap and very, very excellent accessible fashion. So what I decided to do is take this patent and build it in real life. Are you ready for this? Here we go. This is the grand reveal of the Xbox Switch. Boom! Look at that bad boy. It's got Joy-Cons. It's got cell phones. It's got another Joy-Con. Now, if these patents weren't clear enough, somebody has done a lot of great 3D renderings of it. These are more clear ideas of what the actual device will very likely look like. Seeing it in action, I think it's actually pretty impressive. It's pretty gorgeous to see the idea of it. Now, according to the patent, there is some very important stuff about this that makes me think that it could be successful in its own style if they end up releasing it. Now, the biggest thing is that they've said in the patent paperwork, it says that they will be fully detachable, much like normal Joy-Cons. Now, obviously, this is just duct tape and my broken cell phone, but you can tell that what they're wanting to do is have an actual Xbox controller attached to a mobile device. Glancing in detail at these patents, you'll notice that it definitely has all the full functionality of a real Xbox controller. It's got the triggers, it's got all the face buttons, it's got a lot of stuff in it that certainly tries to replicate the console experience in the most micro fashion possible. Now, in the patent, it additionally says that there is going to be stuff that I think is important, like on the controller itself, apparently they want to have speakers that'll have pretty clean audio. Now, I know what you're thinking, if you're plugging this into the phone, that's going to drain the battery fast. Well, apparently, according to all this paperwork, Microsoft wants to have built-in batteries to the grips. So you'll basically put these on a separate charger that will charge individually from your cell phone. That way, if you're blasting the music through these speakers or if you're gaming a bunch and drain things dead, it won't just completely kill your phone in minutes. Because one of the most vital aspects of this patent and these schematics is that they don't say what kind of games this is for. Currently, this is simply a patent for the device. There is no actual functionality details. They don't say if this is going to play mobile games or Xbox games. 
Now the reason I find this so interesting and a point of contention is that I don't want to play Angry Birds with a joystick. I don't think anybody wants to do that. Instead, I do think that this is going to be very likely a new component of xCloud. So right now, a lot of people are talking about the Google Stadia. A lot of people, whether you love it or whether you hate it, like personally, I very much hate the Google Stadia, people are taking it seriously. People, especially in the games industry, are trying to think about how they're going to adapt to an all streaming future. One of the companies, though, that seems to be trying to take this the most seriously from a competitor's perspective is Microsoft. They are the people who already have all the infrastructure needed for basically streaming giant 1080p games directly to any device. They've already been doing a bunch of beta tests, apparently, where people have been able to play things like Halo on xCloud, and from the reports, it seems like it's very, very crisp. So it seems like, in my opinion, this is very likely going Going to be a component of that. This is probably, from my own speculation, probably going to be something that's involving that. I think that they may even call this the Xbox Cloud Mobile. Now, I think that it is a good idea on paper, but still has so many problems to it. I like my Xbox. I play my Xbox a lot. But the reason I enjoy my Xbox is that I have the standard Xbox One S. It has a disk drive. I can play things like Gears of War 5 on it. It is a normal Xbox. It's everything I like about a console with good exclusives and cool experiences, but also, let's face it, I can play it offline. A lot of this streaming technology stuff definitely makes me nervous, and within the patents of this, looking at the paperwork, they talk a lot about Wi-Fi integration, about having your Nintendo Switch, uh, or sorry, having your Xbox Switch, or whatever you want to call it, they're talking about it needing to be perpetually connected to Wi-Fi, which makes me think that perhaps Perhaps it won't even be able to just stream it directly from your phone. Maybe this is something where you'll be able to play it on your lunch break at the office if you have like a cubicle job with good Wi-Fi, or when you're at home obviously. I don't think that it's going to be able to have the same bandwidth when it comes to just directly going through cell phone towers into your mobile device. It's hard to know though just because this is something that is very far down the line. Now I want to say Looking at these 3D renderings, I think that this has a lot of potential that Google Stadia doesn't. The biggest issue when it comes to Stadia isn't just the fact that I don't get to own the games. It's not just the fact that it doesn't have any own, uh, own exclusives or anything like that. I think the biggest issue with Google Stadia is the fact that it doesn't have its own unique flavor. It is just taking a bunch of other people's projects and putting them in one place. It's got Destiny, it's got this crap over here, and they make one big poopy pile. Whereas Xbox, even if you're an Xbox hater, you have to acknowledge the fact that Microsoft has a very focused vision. They go out and buy studios, they buy games, and they make stuff when they have to. I'm I mean, they are out there trying to create stuff, and even if you don't care for it, they certainly have a vision in mind. When I think about xCloud, I can already picture exactly what it's going to be. It's going to be stuff that's not anywhere else. It's going to perhaps be Alan Wake, or some sort of really cool experiences on the go, or stream to like my laptop. It's not a typical console experience, but it's got the console flair to it. I think that this is a good chance for them to show them how it's done. The idea of having an actual Xbox controller attached to a mobile device, that's pretty freaking bold, and a strategy that may pay off, especially if they have some sort of package deal. So right now, this is just a patent. It's just showing up. So it's clearly in the last experimental phases. But already, I'm sort of picturing the idea of what pricing they could have for a product like this. Like, one of my main issues with the idea of Google Stadia or a lot of these streaming services is paying a constant monthly fee for such an ambiguous project or, or such an ambiguous product. What if Microsoft 
actually did something where you just bought this weird controller and instead by even owning it, uh, it, it basically synced up to your Xbox Live account. If you're paying for Xbox Live, you get to Xbox Cloud. Imagine if you have Xbox Game Pass, you get to Xbox Game Pass Mobile, the ability to stream your entire library or maybe at least a partial version of that library directly to your cell phone. Imagine if it had save files. I mean, okay, so I'm pretty excited for Gears of War 5. I'm definitely excited for stuff like Halo Infinite. If I am able to play random multiplayer matches anytime, anywhere, especially when I'm traveling and stuff, I am absolutely going to buy that, especially if it's not technically an additional fee. That to me is intriguing. I'm curious if this actually comes out. Companies file hundreds and hundreds of patents every single year, so there is a chance that this will just go up in smoke. But currently, this does seem like it has a lot of potential. What do you think? Are you actually excited for the idea of a mobile Xbox, or does this just seem too crazy and too unoriginal? Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like, share with your friends, and subscribe if you haven't already. But do me the biggest favor of all, and keep dreaming. Alright, so these are my older Nintendo Switch controllers, and I actually have Goo Gone. So that's like the stuff that removes adhesive. So, oh god, oh I just, I literally just broke my, oh I just broke my phone. I just ripped the screen off my phone. Okay, well be sure to give this video a like. Dang it. Thanks so much for watching that video. If you want to see something else, you can always click this link to see what I put up last. Or, you know, subscribe and see what's coming up next. Also, I promise that whatever I do, it'll try not to suck.